Hey YouTube, we're going to be looking at VLOX today and VLOX has been a long awaited tweak that many have been waiting for release in Cydia and it's currently available now in the Big Boss repo for $1.99 and what VLOX does is it adds a way for you to use a swipe up or down gesture to open various different applications right from the springboard and let me give you an example of what it is i'm referring to and first of all let's use the notes if i swipe down you can swipe down or you can swipe up you see you get the same result and if i wanted to take a note i could just tap inside there and just start doing whatever it is i'm wanting to write about and just hit the little save button right there and it would be saved in my notes it's that quick that easy to get um, it works for many other applications as well uh, such as the music if you swipe down you can get your music controls to forward rewind stop play and it even displays the banner the artwork right there of the uh, album you see now that I'm playing music, it actually shows that. If I want to go to the next song, I can just hit forward or rewind. And there's various different things you can do. Uh, if you swipe down here, you get your no new notifications. And even the settings, you get some toggles they have in here. You've got uh, do not disturb, Bluetooth, and you can increase and decrease your brightness from right there. And your flash on and off. Uh, your orientation lock and you can swipe and you get more here your volume location airplane mode bluetooth uh, and more so as you can see it has numerous different things that we really can't go into everything in this one video it would take an hour or longer to just go over everything but one thing for sure I want to show you is Cydia. You get all the new packages for the day listed right here. You can just scroll through those to see what's come out recently. Uh, that's very handy to have. And uh, if you're going to be using Facebook and Twitter, you can simply swipe down and your Facebook timeline will pop up. And you can post or read whatever you want to do from there. Same thing goes for Twitter. And you can use TweetBot with this too. It works the same way. And you can open it up here to read your stream and your uh, mentions and just various different things. And you can see right here you can actually reply and tweet from right inside this actual interface right here. You don't have to open the, the application to do it. And it got it, it does have a few settings in here and let's go down to vlogs and if you want to read the guide on how to use it all that's right here and inside the preferences right here you got always notification folder for app so if you want to turn that on let me show you what that does all right let's turn it on for the camera since we know already the camera what it did before now if we swipe down we just simply get notifications for that application rather than it being opening the actual application to be used so now let's go back in and we can turn that off and if there's any of those you want to use and then you got your third party apps down here at the bottom uh, if you want to turn that on for any of those as you see they're listed all here in alphabetical order you got user applications down here at the bottom and of course you got your system applications up here at the top like i said there's not a whole lot with it and also in the messages you got a quick reply in here you can see it and you can compose a new message right there just simply by tapping that and the phone has a, a great uh interface built into it as well although i'm not going to open it because it will show some personal information uh same thing for the mail you can do this for about any of it. You get the uh, Twitter, I'm sorry, the Safari to open by doing the same thing. You swipe down. Well, I thought you could swipe. There it is. You swipe up on it. Then you can type the address that you want to go to right there and look at everything from right inside the actual interface of VLOX rather than opening the 
application in itself. I hope this was a little bit educational for you to show you what VLOX is about. And let me show you some of the uh, details about it. It says that it is compatible with OXO, Zephyr, Abstergo, Inf Inf Infinity Folders, Byte SMS, Spring Demise 2, and many more. And we do know that it's compatible with OXO because I'm running it right there. You see OXO is running with no problems. And uh, there's a lot of other applications I'm running on here as well. I haven't had any problems at all. Check it out. I think you'll really enjoy it, guys. It's available in Big Boss for $1.99. As always, please hit that subscribe button to stay updated daily and keep coming back.